tornado watch has just been issued for parts of Central Florida until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We have a team of meteorologists and reporters covering every aspect of this storm. Reporters Troy Campbell and Lauren Cervantes are live in areas that will see the worst of the storm. Meteorologist Candace Campos will show us what we can expect locally, but we begin with Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells with the new advisory from the National Hurricane Center, Tom. Yep, can take a look, Lisa. High pressure here, storm here, trying to run up against it. Dying front here has produced a lot of shear. What I'm trying to get at is we still have a hurricane, but wow, it's really struggling. Wind speeds are 75 miles per hour now, with wind gusts to 90 miles per hour. Pressure's been fairly steady at 997 millibars for hours now since they named this a hurricane during the 8 o'clock advisory this evening. Move it to the north to 14 miles per hour. Here's your path. We've been talking about this for days on end now, that the path we have now basically is going to be the path we're going to get. It's going to hug the coast here, make landfall here, or maybe a little farther to the west here, or maybe a little farther to the east there, but basically in that vicinity. Sometime tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., before it can finally cover the distance here. It's moving to the north at 14 miles per hour. Not a lot of wiggle room left there, but here's what I want you to see. We have rain coming down in central Florida right now, but it's not all that wicked. It's not that wild. I mean, it's raining at like 42 one hundredths of an inch here, about a third of an inch here, about a tenth of an inch over here outside of Heathrow, up to Sanford, to Altamont Springs, all the way down to Apopka. We go a little closer to the system itself, the core. Look at Tampa. It's raining, but it's not raining to beat the band. Heaviest feeder band to come in is right here, south of Sarasota, between Fort Myers and Sarasota, right along the 75 corridor. You see the embedded lightning strikes there, but the center of the system's like right there. See this? That's trying to wrap around. If you were with us earlier today, I kept going on and on about the visible satellite image that had it all on the right-hand side and the dry air just gobbling up the west side. It's still gobbling. I mean, look at that. You can see plain as day, the banding trying to go around the eye, but the eye looks jagged. It doesn't look very symmetrical at all. Rainfall totals down here. Rainfall rates about an inch, inch and a half per hour. Sanibel has reported more than three inches of rain already, but that's not unexpected considering they've been under the feeder bands for hours on end. So you've got your, got your eye about right there with not much left of it. Here's the wind speed and directions right now. Winds in central Florida are simply not that wicked yet. Until one of those feeder bands comes through here, I think we're doing okay. Only problem is they're gonna be coming through during the overnight hours. 